last sessions we have talked about the different uh, leadership uh, models uh, uh, right from the leader member exchange theory, normative decision making style, Hershey and Blanchard's model, Fiddler's model, contingency theories uh, and their models, uh, Fiddler's model and uh, then we have also talked the path goal theory. So, after, after these uh, uh, the theories right. So, uh, nowadays there are two concepts are very important. One is the traditional management, other is the evidence based management EBM and when we are talking about the EBM. So, therefore, the currently what is happening currently means uh, we will take certain uh, period of the uh, traditional management uh, till today. So, uh, question arises what is there in the future? So, that for the future the leadership for tomorrow that we will be talking about paradigm shift on leadership, shift in organizations, profiles of leaders for tomorrow, process of uh, leadership development role of uh, crucibles, mechanisms for leadership development, delegation, some models of leadership development, case study, research paper, book recommendations and references are there. The e, uh, Now, we are whenever we are talking about the leadership uh, and uh, when we go by this particular quote by the Abraham Lincoln, uh, the it becomes that is our vision, what is the vision. So, like nowadays I am uh, encouraging uh, my all the students uh, from the IITs and uh, uh, IIMs wherever I address them uh, that is the have a vision of the entrepreneur owner. So, traditional management we were while teaching MBA we were talking about be an effective manager, be a successful manager, you are a manager right. But when we are talking about uh, nowadays while teaching, so I, I, I am encouraging them that is be, be the owner of your own business, maybe a startup right or the entrepreneurship. So, um, uh, uh, it is a question that is the uh, our generation especially India uh, that is required to be uh, having the uh, their own business and for having that particular vision they have to create it. So, that future is to creation, creation, future creation. What is the leadership? Creation of future. And if you are able to create that future, then definitely in that case, not only you will be having the uh, professional satisfaction, but I am sure that is the you will have the personal satisfaction also. Maybe the personal satisfaction much more than the professional satisfaction. So, uh, that leadership is this particular topic is teaching us how to create the future, future what is required for the future. So, uh, earlier we were talking about the uh, great leaders and good place to work hmm? and now we are talking about the great place to work uh, from good to great place to work right and the great leadership. So, what is the difference between the leader and leadership and here we find that is the difference is uh, whenever we are talking about that is the it, it is it is becoming the leader and followers. We have seen just in uh, earlier sessions about the contingency models follow leader, follower and situation. So, that leader, follower situation uh, this great leadership that is becoming very very important right that uh, and it is not the only the leaders. The difference is leaders means focus on self and leadership is it is a holistic approach right. Now, on basis of this there is a changing environment, uh, liberalization increasing the competition is there aware and demanding the customers. So, that is what type of these uh, uh, demands are increasing educated and impatient employees. So, uh, this is also earlier uh, the now the uh, uh, in one slide I, I, I have shared with you that is uh, even these uh, uh, the women managers right. So, their percentage is going to increase. So, that is education because of the education level is increasing. So, education is uh, uh, level is in increasing high mobility. So, uh, uh, in the uh, 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 earlier they were people were looking for the hometown and now they are looking uh, looking for the global uh, village. So, therefore, in that case uh, um, here that is the high mobility is there in the generation. Careerism is becoming the uh, very very important issues. So, now, husband and wife both are working and we will find many couples they are living separately because their careers are at the different places. So, this careerism and, and declining organizations loyalty right this is uh, this paradigm shift is there and this is to be noted. 
So, whenever you are having the declining the organization loyalty, so then your leadership, right, that will be a question. Growing unemployment and unemployables, there, there is a, a other side, glamorization of designations and the consequent meaningless promotions. Uh, uh, so, you are the partners uh, in the business, uh, you are the presidents uh, and uh, other hierarchy is there, right. But does it is having any, any meaning uh, of your contribution of yourself? So, self, uh, uh, self uh, respect and the next level that is always uh, is becoming the question mark. Resistance to radical thinking is there and therefore, in that case uh, you will find that is whenever we are talking about um, this particular aspect uh, um, that is the how we are going for the uh, 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 this uh, 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 leadership style then this leadership style that has to be uh, shift in the uh, leader paradigm shift and that has to be considered. So, here uh, when we talk about the shift in organizations basically three dimensions are there administration, management and leadership. In case of the leadership uh, uh, now you cannot wait uh, for the long time. So, you have to take a decision very fast quick decisions. So, faster decision making process uh, that has become the demand for the organizations uh, debureaucratization. So, therefore, in that case all those days are gone when there was a bureaucracy was there. Now, the, there is nothing like a bureaucracy and therefore, in spite of the tall structure it is it is the flat structure which has been preferred. So, therefore, in that case if leaders leader is here then the followers. So, it, it, it is not that the followers will be having this uh, followers and like this, this will not do rather than what is this all will be uh, circulated into the circular uh, place only. And there is a horizontal structure de bureaucracy is there, decentralization is there again this diagram we can use for the explaining this particular point that is the, uh, um, uh, the this uh, the power power centric leader was the power centric and the power was uh, totally centered here, but now when we are talking about the decentralization power is flowing from top to bottom and the administration is there and this administration of that leadership that that has to be very very effective and influential unless and until it is not very effective and influential then uh, in that case it, it, it will not be working uh, in a right direction. Now, the profile of the leaders for tomorrow, what is the profile is there? That is the internality is there. Mm -hmm. This profile is required to be developed. If you want to be the successful leader for tomorrow, so uh, internality means concern with one's own thoughts and feelings. This is uh, here I would also like to mention about the uh, cognitive dissonance theory. So, in the cognitive dissonance theory, you will find that there is an attitude and there is a behavior. So, here you are this attitude right this will decide about your behavior and behavior will decide about your actions. Now, when you are talking about the thoughts and feelings this is the attitude it is the way you will have the thought and feeling. Now, what are your thought and feeling is there as we are developing our personality on the basis of the heredity and environment it becomes very very important that is the what sort of these uh, development we are taking care, uh, what environment is provided, what heredity is provided, what is the situation is there and on the basis of this heredity and situation our thoughts and feelings are developed. Simple example that is a money motivation, what motivates you money, power or social needs. So, therefore, these owns uh, that thoughts and feelings that will lead towards the grand vision. So, when we talk about the may M for the moon if you miss you may hit a star right. So, always not failure, but low M is crime right. So, therefore, the, the profile for leaders is required they should have a very grand vision. If they do not have this grand vision then in that case uh, what will be the action. So, uh, this grand vision will direct you towards the action and uh, here you will find that is the if uh, we are talking about uh, this particular uh, grand vision right uh, and actions are there uh, who will be able to complete uh, these actions, actions will be internal locus of control right. So, therefore, internal locus of control means belief in self, 
the leader's part tomorrow is required to believe in self. What is most important is this, that is the, when we are talking about the entrepreneurship, we are talking about the startups, we are talking about the boss of your own, right? Are they the owner of an organization? So, uh, for that, uh, the internal locus of control is required to be very high. Unless and until you do not have that internal locus of control, then definitely it will be very difficult uh, uh, to match uh, the your uh, vision or to decide your actions, right? So, to match your vision uh, and the actions, uh, you are uh, the self uh, actually, it, it is a belief in self internal locus of control means belief in self and that that is to be very high. Then the optimism, because uh, the environment plays a very important role. If environment is supportive, so you are lucky enough, but if the environment is challenging, then to create the opportunities for the challenges. What the, does the challenges do? Challenges create the opportunity. If somebody challenge you, what, what it, is, it is an opportunity to prove yourself and therefore, that optimism, that positive approach towards the future that is very, very important. Leaders are to be very optimistic, like if, even if there is a dark night, they one, then the next day one fine morning will be there. And this belief of the one fine morning, the every problem will be solved, problems are. So, therefore, today we have to just think of the solutions to the problems and implement it. But if we think about this, there will be no solution to the problems and these problems are headache for me, then they will not be the leaders for tomorrow. All this uh, is very, very important with the professional will. Leaders with this quality often make right choices when they handle their fox in the road decision points. This is very, very important. I have talked about this uh, earlier and there I talked about the intuition also. So, this professional will that is becoming very, very important. If you have that professional will to be successful, then definitely you will be making the right choices. So, when, whenever you will come across a, uh, a, any, a, a, any square, you know, so therefore, which, uh, which uh, direction will be the right direction? Right. So, then that is the, the way you handle and, the, and your decision points, decision points will be like here. So, you are going upward. So, here it is very, very important that is the, the profile of the leaders that uh, the uh, individual personality, internality is required the grand vision among that particular person, internal locus of control, optimism and the professional will. Uh, if all these uh, points are there, then definitely in that case the leader will be successful. Now, when, whenever we are talking about the next level next level of the leader and that is about the creativity. And that is why I always uh, 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 the emphasize on that is the solutions to the problems. You should be able to identify the solutions to the problems. So, creativity is a set of attitude, abilities and mental processes. And that attitude, we have talked about that cognitive dissonance theory and that is about that is the developing the positive attitude. Attitude to find out the solution and attitude is the FFO, some bosses are FFO, fault finding officers, right. So, what they do? Uh, they will uh, identify the what is the fault do you have. So, that is the attitude only. So, whatever work uh, the best work uh, according to you. So, once uh, one uh, subordinate said uh, this is my 100 percent, boss said your 100 percent is my 40 percent, that is an attitude. Right, because it is not measurable, but it is an attitude. That if you say 100 percent, I am not happy, I will say it is 40 percent for me. Abilities are there. What abilities are there? Abilities are is there, there the technical skills, human skills, conceptual skills, analytical skills, decision skills are required. Right. So, therefore, that analytical skills, creativity, creativity identifying the solutions. Whenever we are talking about the identifying the solutions, and then uh, it is very important you have the big data and data into analysis and the data into anal, uh, information, information into knowledge, knowledge into wisdom, wisdom into truth. So, therefore, in that case that abilities are required and mental processes hmm? and that uh, uh, like the CPU you have right. So, therefore, in that case that, that mental processes is what I is earlier talked about the internality. Mental process is about the internality. What is that internality? Internality is about the, the your grand vision 
your internal locus of control, your optimism. And if that is the your mental process is there, uh, positive mental process, uh, which we have talked about uh, grand vision, locus of control, optimism and professional will. So, this is this will be the mental processes. If we have these mental processes that increase the probability of hitting upon solutions, hmm? ultimately what happens? Intelligibility is high, ability do you have that knowledge about that particular uh, 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 this uh, uh, your uh, job and the, your attitude is positive that will increase the probability of hitting about the solutions. So, you are well informed both novel and, uh, and appropriate is there. So, now whatever the solutions you will come out, you will come out with the positive solutions are there. Now, here whenever we are talking about the second uh, pro, uh, uh, is the innovative ideas, innovation is there because challenges are new. So, whether it is a political or social or economical or legal or technological whatever these uh, 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 the problems are there you have to require to be the innovative. Innovation is organizations, new product development when we are talking about and therefore, this NPD new product uh, development, it is becoming very, very uh, uh, crucial uh, factor for the success of the organization. Then the maverick mindset looking at situations from different perspective, task and calculated risk. Simple example I will give you about the uh, downsizing of the manpower. How will you do the downsizing of the manpower? So, somebody will say that is the we will remove them uh, it is that is it that easy? It is not easy labor laws will not allow you to do that and therefore, in that case uh, we have to see that is how we can do. Somebody will say uh, that is the uh, offer them VRS voluntary retirement scheme is it that easy? It is not that easy the money is required already your organization is into the crisis. So, therefore, in that case the mindset is required to be the very very positive. Then the neo cheney when one strives to maintain a teachable spirit and is determined to become a lifelong learner and the value new experiences is there. So, therefore, it, it, it will be a uh, uh, always important that is the uh, whenever we are talking about the solutions to the problems. So, we are becoming the uh, always in a learning mode, it, there is no end to knowledge right. Uh, everybody whatever knowledge he has then again there are the certain uh, uh, additional inputs are there which he can uh, uh, gain uh, as a knowledge. So, therefore, it is becoming a lifelong learner and value new experience is there with every uh, step of the life it is a new experience new type of people, new technology, new processes, new resources right. So, therefore, this, this new journey will be there. The values are the is this value orientation, uh, then the ethics and people first. So, here it, it will give the high priority to searching, retaining and developing the talent is there. So, the third one uh, uh, after these uh, you are the uh, internality and the creativity is there and it is about the values. So, this value orientation simple value is it is honesty, integrity whether the person is having those value systems or not, the ethics right. So, whether the decision making process were ethical or not. So, whether you, you are supporting the merit or you are supporting the your biasness. So, therefore, that is to be also checked. People first always whenever we are taking a decision it is it is not the profit. right. So, therefore, in that case it, it is very important that is the right people are with you. Hmm? I would like to give that uh, uh, example when the uh, Arjun and the uh, Duryodhan went to Sri Krishna, right? And when the Sri Krishna asks, "It is what do you want, right? To whom you want? You want my army, or me, right?" And Duryodhana said, that "It is the army." Huh? And Arjun said, "That is, uh, I want you." So there, uh, the the, the uh, here you will find that is it that talent, the searching of the talent. So, what, how do you recruit your talent that your recruitment process that you are planning HR planning that is for a leader the making the team that is a, how he creates the team identify the team members and how they make the team. Uh, here uh, just to remind you I have mentioned you about the formula of competency and convenience. Competency means we, we have to in the people first in identifying the talent, we have to see those who are having the technical uh, knowledge, there is job knowledge, technical means not technology, job knowledge first and then convenience. 
those who will follow you, their loyalty is with you. Otherwise, the highly competent person, zero loyalty, it will be zero, right. So, therefore, in that case, it is the competence into convenience. So, uh, if you will take the convenient people only, so it is the comp here if I, I will put this convenience 0 and very highly competent person, but he is not having loyal with you, what will be the outcome? Highly convincing, so very convenient person, so whatever you say, he says yes boss, but his competency 0, what will be result? Zero. And therefore, it is important that whenever we are selecting the team, in the team effectiveness for the leader, it has to be the people first on the basis of the competency and convenience. Social concern, not only concern about the success of their ventures, now, uh, it is this point nowadays is highly mentioned, that is the, the leader should not focus on the self, they have to focus on leadership as we have seen in the first slide. So, what it means? It means that that is a pro follower and situation, the society, you are working for what? Or if you are working for the your own gain, it will not be successful, you will not be able to run for long time and therefore, there is a requirement is there that is the need for the community, you are serving for the community is there. Then the humility, personal humility, the concept of personal humility includes the aversion to climb light, right. Always, always have the personal humility is important, self restraint. So, the, your personal goals which are, which, which are to be very much concerned with the society and not only focus on self, empowering your team effectiveness will not be there. If uh, is, uh, I have seen some bosses, I will do, I will do myself, I will do myself, then it is not a group, uh, it, it is a group, it is not a team. So, that sharing the information education, participative decisions, these are the mechanism. So, when you empower your men, uh, the, your uh, the group members, then definitely you, you are making the team effectiveness, right. Uh, if you do not empower, you do not educate your people that uh, tomorrow he will dominate me, lack of self confidence, not a successful leader. So, therefore, this empowering is very important. Culture building, what type of culture do you have? So, therefore, when we talk about that is a culture of integrity, so then definitely that leader has to prove a culture of integrity is there. The fifth point is that is a networking. So, networking competence led and developed with their organizations and with the strategic outside groups and organizations are there. And when they are having the proper networking, communication with the created networks, you know. So, uh, suppose you are having the networking and then you do not contact your uh, uh, the person uh, to with whom you are having the networking for the so many months and years and suddenly one day you contact, will it do? It will not do. Why? Because that is there was a communication break. So, therefore, please have the well uh, uh, connect, with, will connect with your network uh, networking. Synergy building 1 plus 1 is equal to 11, that is the, that is why it is a behavior science. So, it, 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 is, it is not the only science, it is an art also. So, that is why we, we are talking about when we will work together, then we can win. The customer orientation, interaction with the customers, feedback from them, because ultimately business is for what? Business is for their the functioning with this particular, uh, the customers only, only then uh, uh, we will be able to survive. So, what is the role of these, uh, uh, role of the crucibles are there? These are the vessels used to melt the metals. Uh, crucibles in leadership development context refers to an intense transformational experience like the second birth is there. Hmm? So, you know, four types of crucibles, mentoring relationship and then you change the person, make them the leaders, enforce reflection by force, experiencing a new world that is uh, let the learn by themselves, disruption and loss that is a negative approach is there and when this type of the approaches are there, uh, then definitely you will not be able to develop the leaderships. Then how to develop a leadership? The proper recruitment and, uh, as I mentioned that is the eligibility criteria that, that is the uh, entry. entry. Uh, uh, so, therefore, you should be very careful 
you know. So, therefore, write in, write out. So, recruitment is very, very important. But with the period of time, you have to give them the training. And when you, you, you are providing them training, then definitely there will be the leadership development will be because they will have the those skills which are required for tomorrow. Uh, delegation, uh, I have talked about it is the yes, you have to give them the uh, uh, empower, empower with the uh, rights, right? And therefore, it, it, but you are keeping the responsibility with you, then it will be delegation. 360 degree appraisal will be there involving all the stakeholders, so then, then they can connect with you. Mentoring is there, uh, so there, in that case, personal connect is there. Matrix career planning is there, including the all the dimensions. Sabbatical is there, where the you are giving them the uh, sabbatical leave and they are able to develop themselves. Reward system, that which motivates them, and the group competition for the creativity and innovation is there. And this group competition is uh, for, with the positive approach. If we are having this leadership development processes, then definitely you will, we will be having uh, these uh, all these functions. As I mentioned about the delegation, right? So, therefore, has some inner power and that is you identify the strength of the employee and when you are having this empowering of this individual identifying his strength, you will be definitely have uh, these effective way of the empowerment will be the and delegation will be there. So, here we, uh, we have uh, discussed the delegation earlier also in previous slide that is identify the right person, motivate the person, reward the person and then the review the, uh, and in spite of that if you are not getting the results then definitely in, in this case uh, even after your monitoring you find that is the uh, there has been the mistakes to plan for the future is there then review the delegations will be there. So, there are some models of leadership development uh, by the companies I would like to check uh, Infosys, Wipro, RPG model in the BPO industries is there. So, this, this is the nine pillar model is there in the Infosys for the leadership development, right. So, 360 degree feedback uh, developmental assignment, Infosys cultural work workshop is there and about the organization culture, development relationship, uh, leadership skills for the training and uh, feedback intensive programs, systematic process learning, community empathy and the action learning is there. Whenever we are talking about the Wipro, that is the customer orientation, strategic thinking, self-confidence, commitment to excellence, uh, willingness to groom other leaders, ability to work in teams, adaptability and self-initiative to others are there. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is the ultimately uh, in both the models, uh, you will find what is the common is, common, common is that is about the work for the society. So, developing the leaders to serve the society to community and therefore, this community um, approach uh, that, that is required. So, that is why the even we are, when we are talking about the CSR and our, uh, so uh, here the many organizations and they are going by the their own uh, uh, style of developing the society is there. Uh, uh, here a very good example has been given of the objective setting is done and leadership development by Wipro, life cycle leadership programs are there and on basis of this uh, uh, whatever the early opportunities. Actually, uh, what we, uh, why we are studying all these things? So, that we can catch the earlier opportunities and therefore, the, the developing the leaders requires the uh, earlier opportunities are there which will be decided by the HR and planning is there. Whenever we are talking about the objective setting is there, that is a goal and vision of the leader that will decide about that particular objectives are there. On the basis of the competency based performance appraisal 360 degree and, and the community service is a customer inputs are there, centered in, in, in inputs are there, then definitely we will be able to do. When we are talking about the, the another model of the RPG model, so there are see uh, like these uh, we have seen the 9 and 8 by the Infosys and Wipro, here the 7 key com competencies are there, team management, creativity innovation, customer centricity, process orientation, result orientation, business acumen and transparency is there. So, uh, 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 whenever we are talking about this, uh, the BPO industries models are there, there is a leadership and communication skills, leadership enhancement and advancement enhancement is there, right and the leadership identity is there. So, BPO industries are using the sleep model for the leadership development and uh, ultimately uh, the, this uh, leadership uh, when we are talking about the 2.0 that is a new generation leadership. 
and this new generation leadership will be working with the connect with the mind and body connection is there right and in the corona time also we have seen that is the, this type of models they are becoming the highly required and making the successful to the leaders are there uh, in uh, here these are uh, public service commissions the case study is given which is talking about the leaders for tomorrow and uh, here uh, it, it is a question is that is the very beautiful concept is given in this uh, case study that is the cultivating the future talent through the coaching, mentoring and feedback counseling and development and that is a succession planning is there. So, in, in, in this case the succession planning uh, NSW focused uh, that is the uh, because one, one uh, uh, this level of the managers or leaders and they will uh, uh, go up. So, next level has to take their place and there should not be the vacuum. If there is a vacuum then there is no leadership development. So, NSW has established a leader development program that is uh, focusing on the developing the skills and attributes and uh, as a result of which what, is, what are the capabilities are required in the leaders communication, interpersonal effectiveness, achieving results, organizational context and environmentals are there. So, all this uh, the collect collective collective approach and that will lead uh, this uh, uh, program for these uh, uh, the, uh, the different levels of the employees then aspiring managers, new managers, business managers, senior managers and executives uh, every level because you see their succession planning will be right from the top to bottom and whenever the any level. Uh, where the you are shifting to the next level, then uh, there uh, the uh, the lower level of that particular hierarchy, uh, the person from that level will, will uh, is supposed to take because the internal culture, internal culture is becoming very very important. So, uh, but the performance is measured to the 360 degree and new and business managers the data for which was collected using the standardized survey was done. For senior minus and executive level, uh, it is built in constructive behavioral leadership. What is that? There is a through 360 degree you find out assess the uh, your uh, uh, leaders and identify that where are the behavior, where the mostly adopted at work is required. On the other hand, leaders who are ready for setting a direction and the constructing a vision strategies, then they will go for this planning, highlighting communication and reliability is there. So, uh, by this structured way of developing the leaders is there and that it, it is committed employees who understand organization strategy and management and ensure the continuity of leadership uh, as well as having the backup plan for leaders and managers uh, to replace those managers will re, uh, retire in the future. So, therefore, in that case yes uh, you are some uh, topmost level of the managers they are going to be retired and then these new developed leaders they will take the positions and they are well aware about the organizational strategies. Uh, this is assigned for your assignment how paradigm shifts were addressed by the NSW public sector commission. Could you any other method of leadership development used by NSW explain with the justification you can analyze. As usual we are having these research papers, delegation outcomes, perceptions of leaders and followers satisfaction. It is always important that is the we have to go for the delegation. Here the finding of this paper also is mentioning about ability and performance and extended these results med, uh, that is the mediation analysis revealed that leader likability mediates the relationship right. So, therefore, leader has to be having the that like by the followers. The findings uh, offered by this particular uh, paper is uh, and to delegate by actively reporting this positive effects. Uh, leaders depend on the assistance and cooperation of their employees. Therefore, to motivate employees, uh, leaders must be perceived in a positive light. The findings suggest that leaders should actively engage in the delegation of responsibilities and ensure that they include their employees in decision making processes there, which we have talked earlier. As usual, I have some uh, recommendations uh, for the books also developing tomorrow's leaders today inside from corporation right uh, and uh, there is the in this book uh, how we they uh, we are uh, the author has talked about uh, lessons from the on the job experience and this is a very very practical approach a book which will be uh, helping you 
to develop uh, uh, that uh, leadership for tomorrow. Uh, so, therefore, developing the leadership for tomorrow, uh, it, it is becoming uh, that is the you have to go by these uh, different models, can take examples and then adopt at your workplace. I am sure that is the organization uh, will never have a vacuum and through succession planning of developing the leaders for tomorrow, uh, they, it will be successful organization. These are the references for your uh, uh, the further studies. Thank you.